Choji Panchi, Daimyo of Panchigo, Mighty Man, Spooky Eyes, you know the drill. A couple of days ago, I nerfed all of the traits down, included in the, uh, the, the Dojutsu 2.0 mod, because they gave so much health that not only was our character never gonna die, but all of our dynasty members might as well have just had the immortality trait. I nerfed all of them down to add a nice, somewhat more balanced, but still absolutely not balanced experience, judging by, uh, this crap. Yesterday, we finished the Bloodline. We completed the ultimate event and ascended to uh, the, the highest power ever, whatever it was called again, I don't even remember, Divine, there we are. That gave us two options. One of which gave us immortality, obviously completely undoing all of the nerfs that I did on the traits originally, giving us all the health we could ever want. The alternative gave us a Bloodline. Oh, when we finished the Bloodline, it just ended up giving us another fucking plus four health anyway. So, long story short... I have changed the bloodline, so not only is it not undoing all of the stuff I did previously, and given us so much health that we're never going to die, but I also made it fit nicely into the goal of the series, which is, in the words of my man Brock from Pokemon, tragic Brock from Pokemon yesterday who committed to Puku, we want to catch them all. So, I also fixed some of the issues with it. We had, uh, beforehand, it gave plus two to all of the stats and plus three health. I, I removed that, and instead I added... Increased chance of looting artifacts and increased chance of capturing people from sieges. Because I figured we're going out there, we're trying to get these women balls, we're trying to capture people to breathe into our bloodline, and that's what we want to see, really. We want to see more of the magic eye powers and less of the less of the immortal characters map painting. So that's what I thought would fit in a little bit nicer than some of the other crap. Now, bear in mind right now, anyway, we can't go looting until we've yeeted the Shogun, which are, again, not words that I ever thought I would say. It's not even the Shogun anymore, is it? Oh, Nagano... Uh, uh, so, O is his title, I assume. Uh, Motoyoshi Nagano, the evil of Japan. Evil because he's a damn peaceful Buddhist who won't let us go out raiding. Can I need to declare limited holy wars against non dominant religions? Oh, I forgot about that. So we need to get rid of this guy. Right now, we control a nice chunk of Japan. Certainly not enough to try and overthrow him. So the rest of our goal for today is ascend. Continue ripping the realm apart. Fabricate as many claims as possible. His wife just went very cursed very quickly. And then overthrow him. Either, either establishing our sh ourselves as Shogun, deposing him to someone who might be better. Oh, look, another daughter. <laughs> Good. Good. Thank you for that. But anyway, uh, however we, we plan on doing it, just basically getting rid of this guy to a Shinto dude instead would, would come in very handy. Uh, the whole Nagano Dynasty Buddhist then. Uh, there's only six loving members. Yeah, they're all Buddhists. We need to get rid of them to someone who's Shinso instead. Um, let's take a look at the claimants to the throne. So, the Shogun of Japan, who still landed. Oh, shit. The legitimate ruler of Japan, who was the guy who was removed by this rebellion, is, is still Shinto. Um, right, so he's only got a base up on the northern island there. Right, is there anyone else? Yoko Kortia in Higashi Ezo. Damn, it's a shame she's married, because I was going to say we can marry into her, push her claims, make her the empress, and then maybe matrilineally marry her. We could still do that, don't get me wrong. Mark her a special interest, send her a gift, buy her a favor from her immediately, kill her husband, second he dies, we invite her to court, marry her off matrilineally to our character's son or betrothed or something like that. Then we'll push the uh, her claim when the betrothal goes through. What is it? It's a weak claim, so we'd have to kill off a few people anyway. Um, yeah, all right, we could just seduce her. That, that also works. Oh my god, I don't know how to tell you this, but that is not a wolf right there. Uh, the wolf dragon Zillant has issued an official jewel request. I mean, this dragon only has 102 personal combat, so I think we're probably good. Yeah, so it turns out we actually can't fabri uh, fabricate, uh, create. I suppose I technically wasn't wrong. Uh, we can't create another champion bloodline. I imagine it's because our grandfather or whatever had it. Maybe you have to be a certain distance from it. Maybe one dynasty can only have it at a time. That wouldn't surprise me either, because we've had it before. Where we've had multiple champion bloodlines, but that's from two different start sides of the family tree. Um, I'm having an inordinately hard time. I'm pursued my amorous interest in Yoko Kush Kushru. Uh, when will I ever find this travels so far? Where is she? She's only up there. It's because she's not within our realm. I'll say there is no rush and then just hope that we can come across her. Um, literally and phys figuratively, metaphorically, however you want to phrase it. We'll kill off this dude then and we can just invite it to court. We can't use the favor yet, but I have already bought a favor. Um, she's, she's considering an offer in minus two days, apparently. Incredible. There we are. Okay. So now when her husband dies, as long as we immediately f bring her over to our court, she won't have time to remarry. That was fast. Wow. Although, in hindsight, we do have, uh, 34 intrigue. And, of course, all of the diplomacy as well, making everybody like us. So I'm not really surprised. We're gonna condense our blood again, really? 
Oh, is that where I used the power to give us the artifacts and then and then didn't actually condense it after that? Well, we'll get that done very, very quickly. Oh, right. Okay. The other thing was, of course, I asked for the name for the sword yesterday. And out of all the decisions, there was one that really stood out. No longer will it be called Ignis. The fire sword is now called Flamio Hotman. That was, that was my favorite suggestion out of all of them in in the comment section. That was incredible. I think we're going to give up on, on Yoko right now because she's just not interested. She's too far away. We haven't got the different range. He's dead. He's gone. Keep it paused. And then I don't know what that snake just did to him, but that didn't sound right. Invited to court. We didn't even need to push the favor, so I shouldn't have bothered, actually. Come on. Oh, yes, we got her before she remarried. Oh, my God. Thank God for that. Sedusa, uh, keep her a special interest. Send her a gift. Do whatever we've got to do to kind of keep her here. Uh, let's arrange a betrothal between her and our son. I guess we'll have to end up playing as gone at the right things are going. What have you got? Inferior here. Oh, God. I guess we could just seduce her. I hope that our character has a kid with her. Uh, and then push her claim on Japan. And then eventually, our, in theory, our next character will be the king. Okay. Uh, we can do that. Also, it just occurred to me that Yamashiro is still the capital of the Shogun. And then the rest of it, everything else is uh, is is Japan, inverted commas. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Um, here's what we want to do then. We want to start killing off dynasty members. I imagine these guys have made a lot of enemies given that they basically just deposed the previous shogun and stole power. Let's start killing off their dynasty until they've got a weak ruler on the throne. My current occupation, what the hell am I doing? Oh, is that because we're living troops? We're definitely not living troops. It's because we're a counselor. Really? In our arts of research economy tech, I'm going to resign then. Sorry. I mean, we will lose a few points in, in our actual murder plot there, but it's the best I can do. Um, there's no rush. There's no rush, but it is kind of essential, so we need to get on with it. Even now, only 113%. My God. Let's send a few gifts out. Man, I was expecting to be higher than that, given that, you know, everybody loves us. Does everybody love him? Uh, kind of. Yeah. Why? Cruel, arbitrary, envious, greedy, and everybody's, like, well on board. Uh, long reign. Gavilkan succession. Plus 10 from feudal technology. He's got nice jewelry. Content. Council Hall plus 3. Prestige plus 10. Uh, he does have 4,000 prestige. Okay, fair enough. There are many legends about a great man whose blood I share. A particular story has been circulating where an epic feat freezer proves his strength. Um, gain wrath and we also gain vassal opinion. Do we not have wrath? No, we have patient. Why have we only got a state marshal of 2? Oh, because we're away from court. Right, fair enough. Um... I shall strive to be more like him. Fuck it. We'll take Roth. We'll also gain the vassal opinion. We're now up to 65 marshal. I guess I should also give us a marshal and a steward as well, huh? That should that should tidy up some of our round issues. Right, now we're back from condensing our golden droplets. So we can hopefully go and see. There we are. Float with her discreetly. Nothing. Damn it. Uh oh, we've impressed her. What is this shit? What? What are you talking about? She left but Oh fuck. Who's this joker? Daimyo Yukihito Daijo, the mute. Never. Get out of here. You are you are done. Your, your time is done, old man. I made sure to attend this minor event at Saba so I could seduce Kurushru Kru 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 Yoko. Meet in my room, my lady. Did it work? Damn it. Man, that's really rare that that one fails. Ah, got her. There we go. Um, I love grow. It's a bit late, though, because she's already gone. Maybe we could legitimize, uh, legitimize a bastard instead. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. He knows the trap. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We just legitimize it. We pray to hell it's the sun now. And then we can oh, We still can't push her claim, though, because she's not in our court. Um. Shit. Oh, he's also the king of... How did that happen? He just gained a kingdom? I'm not going crazy, am I? And who, who is he? Oh, so he's under the previous shogun. Part of an external realm. Oh, okay. Um, right, let's get my spy master up there then instead. On the plus side, that means there are way more enemies that we could potentially bribe to kill him dead. 155%. Oh, she's going to kill him. Fantastic. Incredible news. Kill him dead. Come on. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get out of here. Get him. Oh, he failed. Okay, not a problem. Not a problem. Oh, we're also being trained as well. I feel like it's a bit... Oh, man. If we were going to trust things, is it worth taking the risk? I... I mean, what's our... Oh, warrior level's only level one. Fine. You know what? We can't be just a novice fighter all our life, especially with all the stuff that this guy is, uh, this guy's achieved. Mochihira. Oh, God. There he is. Legitimize him. Little Mochihira. 
whose mother is the granddaughter of... Oh, what a fucking claim to the throne. Mother is matrilineally, via her mother's mother, the granddaughter of Japan. I, I don't remember which around it was now. Either way, we could potentially bribe the Shogun to join us. That would do it. Uh, your training is over. We gain... Oh, we just improve our fighting skills. Okay, so chances are next time that will actually upgrade a level. Boom, quite literally. Let's bring her over then. Um, we are looking for you. Invite to court. No! No? What do you mean, no? Ah, oh, fuck. Well, we better buy a favor pretty damn fast then, otherwise she might end up being married off. Come on, come on, come on. Get her, get her, get her. There we are. Stop, 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 stop. She's not married. Invite to court. She's saying yes now. Oh, because she moved to the court of a duke. Bring her over. Bring her over. Bring her over. Bring her over. Get out of here. Right. Stop. You are not leaving court again. How dare you? Throw away a concubine. Who have we got? Um, 38. She does have the, the magic the magic bloodline, though. Uh, your crap. Get out of here. Fired. Set concubine aside. And let's go for you instead. That should stop her leaving our court in a hurry. Okay. Now we could legitimize this kid and potentially put him on the throne of Japan. All we have to do is overthrow this guy. Claim sh Why can we only claim Shikoku? Oh, right, because uh, cause we need to get a weak ruler on the throne. E easy done. Well, maybe not. Maybe, absolutely maybe not. But we can at least give it a, a good go for potentially taking the whole of Japan in one foul swoop. That was fast. They clearly don't like this, dude. Get rid of him. Come on. Oh, my complicity was just going bollocks. Oh, no. Well, that could... Uh, oh, and it's a tiny child next in line. That could potentially cause us some issues, but if we can get rid of this guy within a decent amount of time, we've done it. We've fulfilled the the weak ruler. Then we'll push our concubine's claim. She'll be queen of Japan, and then when she dies, unless she can designate an heir, but it doesn't matter because she's not going to have any more kids besides... We should, we, we should probably marry her. Can female rulers break concubinage? I have no idea how that works in hindsight. Uh, 30, genius. Sorry, got to go. Uh, she stays in court. I'll take her as a concubine. Swap her out. No, can't do that, apparently. Right, we need to make sure she's married, then. Bollocks. All right, there we are. So now we'll be the, 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 the king consort of Japan, or whatever the equivalent is. So let's take a gamble with this kid. The only other bonus this kid's got is the, uh, is the neatest bloodline there. Uh, let's go to the other. See, he doesn't have it. Right, I'm going to legitimize this kid either way, because he's got both of the eye powers guaranteed. And then we'll also educate him ourselves. This is now our official successor. We have to hope that we don't drop down dead anytime soon. Bear in mind, we're 52 stressed and possessed. We time is very much against us right now. Wish I'd have kept all those damn health bonuses in hindsight. Oh, another one. Nice. Okay. Uh, another backup kid then, potentially. That's pretty good. Oh, to be fair, she does have first. I didn't even notice that. Another another kid. Wow. Another son. Oh, but this one's only got... Oh, but it's also just a random concubine. I say random concubine. That's my niece I'm talking about. How dare you? It's one of this whole fucking family is not horribly inbred. And that's with the other... Right, that's with the, the woman that we want to put on the throne. Right, this new kid came out complete crap, though. Oh, who's she? I don't know who she is, but she's found a snake that will kill the king. Now, is his heir still a tiny boy? One years of age and an imbecile? Kill him. Please. I, I beg you. Get out of here. Kill. <gasps> the snake performed its duty with the plum, bub. And pumped oh no oh god no I'm not no no offense I okay thank you. Now we still can't do it. Why? What are we talking about? Climb on the Kingdom of Japan. We claim to be pressed against female rulers. Title holders and have full status for women. Uh Regency's title can class title claim second third in line. Ah oh, shit. I guess women can't be rulers of Japan then, huh? It's it's probably just agnatic. Bollocks. Uh, well, that all fell apart quite quickly, didn't it? Um, there's no way we can continue that claim then, is there? Bollocks. Well, I tried. Still all going to fall apart, but I, I tried. Okay, this isn't too bad. Uh, 50% chance of losing arbitrary, 50% chance of gaining train fire. We lost arbitrary. Still a terrible, after all this time, look, the game can't lie. We're still a terrible fighter. So annoyed we can't do much about that. Um... 55,000. How much are we of that, though? We're 21,000 of that. I know that's not quite exactly how it works, because you obviously only get a proportion of your 
vassal troops. But I just invited any diplomats to court as well, because I figured out if our only goal now is still fabricate claims, we might as well have the best person in the world. And he was like the p only... Yeah, I mean, the only other person besides her, and I mean, with 28 diplomacy, is going to be pretty fantastic. So we now have Diplomat Doom Young Suck. I guess only if Young really wants to. Now fabricating claims over in Ugo. 76.04% chance yearly. Whew, that's going to be pretty spicy. Now, bear in mind, even if you get 100% chance yearly, that means, on average, over the course of 12 months, you're going to get a claim. That does not mean that it will... You're guaranteed to claim every year. That's just, as far as I recall. Anyway, um, it is of course mean time to happen after all. So fingers crossed that we should have within no time at all a lovely claim for my man, and then we'll start working. We'll tidy up the rest of our borders around here first. Then we'll just start heading south, march towards the, the the capital, and then grab it. And then maybe hey, you never know. Maybe Tada Tugu might end up being. You know what? I'm gonna call you Frank. I said I was gonna call you Frank. He might end up being the Shogun either way. Frank. <laughs> Oh, fuck it, I'm keeping it. Framk. Panchi Framk. <laughs> ah, shit. Um. Well. Your core physician, Michitada, comes to see you and he offers treatment for your illness. We could go the risky, risky, risky route. Or we could use our magic eye powers and see if there's a way to cure it with that. Next page. Nothing. Oh, fuck. Um. We have a bit of an issue here, team. Now is not the right time. Should we go for the brave one? The issue is, if we die now, we're, we're putting the realm in the hands of a tiny little boy. Um, Four years of age, hasn't awakened his eye powers. Come on, Michitada. You motherfucker. You absolute shit. Oh, come on. This is not how, this is not how you're going to kill off Frank, is it? Skip the dual engine. You, you wouldn't do this. Minus three there. Minus three there. Minus one there. What health bonuses have we got these days? Golden drop. I removed the health bonus from that as well. So we've got 3.5 there. We've got plus one there. So we've got plus 4.5. And that, I think, is genuinely it. Uh, oh, no. Wait, we've got 5.5 .5 with the Immortal Blood as well. It's plus 5.5. .5 and we've lost. Uh, and how much did I say we lost? Like, minus seven? Fuck. So this is the equivalent, to put it in as simple terms as possible, this equivalent of having like the flu as a base game character. At the age of 56, it's a bit more likely to kill us dead, but I wouldn't be surprised if we at least survived the mistreatment. Of course, the cancer's not going to go away in a hurry. Um, shit, this is actually kind of nail-biting. Should we go for like hunting focus? What do you think about that like, fucking hunting focus, huh? Given that this man alone has rebuilt this dynasty with his fair cock and balls... I feel like it's a little bit unfair at this point to move away from the seduction focus, but cancer is already kicking his ass a little bit. Same with stressed. If we want to get back fertility, we can do it by getting rid of those. Stressed, I mean, hunting can remove stress, so hey, that's another 10% fertility bonus in theory. Michitada comes to me and says he has another treatment. Go on, then. Go on, then. Do it, you prick. Come on. Oh, successful experiment treatment. Plus three to everything, plus three health. Michitada. He's done it again. Your friend, Daimyo Kinoshita Mot... Motosune has sent you a gift. Motosune has sent you a gift. It's a little dog. Pay someone to quietly dispose of it. Of course, I would never press that button. What do we want to name it? Faithful, Hunter, or Tricky? Tricky, 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 Tricky. Let's go for that, then. <laughs> well, that gives us another plus one health for as long as it might last. Uh, how, are we, how are we looking on that one? We've got another four years before we can try another treatment. Well, we getting trained fighter at long last. I was just checking when I actually hired my man M Myung Suk. What was his name? It was uh, four years ago, and he's got a 76% chance yearly to fabricate claims. I feel like something's horribly broken here. Um, we'll try and put him back out there again, but this is... It's just not working. Maybe you can't fabricate duchy level claim. Oh, for fuck's sake. What? Okay. <laughs> oh, that's fine. That's just made me look like a fucking ass. Okay, uh, let's press all claims. Get over there as quickly as possible. Bear in mind we got round piece and whatnot. I should have already moved the retinues into position. Uh, should we just dogpile it? Just go all in on the dogpile here. Let's go. Whatever troops are going to get there first. Actually, we need to be leading armies again. Um, you know what? We'll lead... Yeah, we'll lead this smaller one. Because they're going to get there first. We've got more chance these guys actually survive more than two seconds. With 68 Marshall, I feel like that's pretty much uh, a, a certainty, isn't it? Skip the dual engine. You were never going to get this ever. Okay, good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Just go for the capital. Burn it down. Get to the capital. Burn it down. That's all it takes. 
Uh, I've also got as well, because I figured this is kind of appropriate, our... Oh, wow, Misty. Uh, I didn't even realize that with our... Uh, as our whatever that is. Upadhyayani. Whatever that means. Um... I got her with a learning skill over on the mainland, proselytizing. Bear in mind that most of the mainland has flipped over to Buddhism right now, which is absolutely not cash money for a strategy that involves stealing people's balls and stealing people's daughters to steal our balls. Doesn't really seem very conducive to that. So ideally, we want to avoid Buddhism as much as possible. When we're king, we can probably just enforce it a little bit more. Really get out there, start pushing some counties more towards our religion. But that is another one down. Boom. What have we got there? We can set a... Gr Oh, we can secretly convert. Is that a Buddhism holy site then? Really? Uh, oh, it's just because oh, because we personally hold it. Yeah, no, I'm not interested in that shit, if you don't mind. All right, Sado is now our crown focus. I don't know why it wasn't anyway, to be completely honest with you. Look at that. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Where do you want to go for next? This is quite a large duchy they've got down here. Etchizen, is that all one big duchy? It is. Should we go for that one next? I think that's, that's the safest bet. So there's his capital. Uh, let's get you immediately back. That was so fast. I don't know why suddenly then he did it instantly. I guess maybe he was paid off before. Two months later, we've got a claim on the uh, Ken of Echizen. So obviously the county level title there. We'll leave him there in the hopes that he upgrades to a duchy pretty soon. But I will swap him out. Shogun Terui Akamtomo has formed an alliance with the Mongol Khan. Oh, he didn't really get off the ground though. Oh, that's just a Mongol Khan, not, not the... What happened to Genghis then? Just, just died without really doing much. Died of severe stress. <laughs> and then Jochi died. So you got Telui the dragon, who's doing a whole bunch of fucking nothing right now. Wow, I've never seen them stop dead in their tracks so far. I mean, what I said before was right about how obviously they've got a lot more enemies. They're not right up against the map edge. They haven't got the safety to retreat back to. China's obviously so much more powerful. Seems like they just got completely annihilated. Oh, she died? She died four years ago and I didn't even notice. <laughs> Okay, that's pretty good. Um, I'm just trying to cut off some notification then. Second of it, that's because it's not the regular ruler unmarried, you know, the sort of Western Europe one, and that's where a lot of the series take place. Because unfortunately, 90% of the mods are obviously focused over there. Um, but I, I didn't re really recognize what it was, so it didn't kind of register with my brain that that means we're not married anymore. Um, Shugo Fujina Bonshu. Sure, she'll do. Yeah, random, random marriage for land. That's fine. And the one thing I haven't done in a while, again, not since the start of the episode, is marry off a bunch more relatives. My God. Um, I'm not sure if it's a good thing that we've got so many dynasty members. I want to go married. Oh, right. That's, the, that's not unmarried. There we are. Uh, Sailor Moon's husband died. My half-brother. That's tragic. We'll go for another one then. Um, let's go matrilineal. Actually, no. Let's go uh, see if we can arrange marriage within our court to another one with the bloodline first. So, son. Right. So, no son blood. Can I copy that? You can't. Absolute shit. All right, um, let's find her a good marriage then. Matrilineally only, preferably. No, before I go down that route, let's stop the court with a bunch of strong, unmarried men as as good breeding for, fodder. Gender men, we've got any with high stewardship. He's pretty good. He is ill though, which could be an issue. Um, so just go by age more than anything else. Right, get you to court. Oh, for fuck's sake, get you to court. Uh, join me. Fucking... Thank you. Right, okay. Try that again. Get you to court. Thank you. There we are. Oh my god, we actually finally succeeded with the bloodline to groom an heir. After all these years. And how's he coming out? Which one? Oh, five out of seven. Wow. That's obviously the second best one you can naturally gain. Um, obviously the, the seven out of seven, the one we've got now is, is via the event. So that's pretty that's pretty fucking good. Cool. Alright. Um What else was I doing? Oh, a new ambition. Can we make a bloodline? No, we still can't make a bloodline. I guess we'll Kate Lambert online and become a counselor required title, become the king of Japan. That'll do. So with that, we can fabricate a claim or try and fabricate a claim on the kingdom of Japan. Which I guess we could just give it a go. Just We might as well just leave him there and, and see how that plays out. Worst case scenario, we gain a claim on all of his duchies. And I guess we might as well go and heal that wound as well. I completely forgot we could do that. Alright, so now we've only got the minus three from cancer, the minus one from stress. We got the plus three from the treatment. And we're recovering from combat wound. Oh, you lose five glory per month. Wow. No rest of the champions. They lose 25 glory per month. We'll be downgraded to pretender when they hit zero glory. Wow, okay. Um, I think we have to worry about that, given our glory points right now. Fabricate a claim on the kingdom of Japan. Or to invite plotters. Bring them in. Bring them in. What will the knight bring? Oh, God, we're a werewolf again. Uh, we have... Nothing. We didn't. We didn't hunt anything in food poison or anything like that, but our throat is sore from all of our... 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 Oh, 
Minus two diplomacy. We're not a horse, silly. We're a wolf. Anyway, let's go ahead and fabricate a claim. 90% chance of success. Oh, there we go. Strong claim on the Kingdom of Japan. Guess we could just follow it through. We've also got a claim. Don't forget on the way empire, but I very much doubt we could do much with that. Press all claims. Echizen and Japan. What's he got? 50, oh, 53,000 troops. A lot of that is our troops, though, don't forget. 5,000 gold in the bag as well. Um, and where are our borders? I mean, yeah, it's a lot easier to defend from the, at this point. Should we do it? Total strength. Let's get these mercenaries hired and in position. Or in a, in a sort of a decent lineup before we go too crazy with things. Okay. Let's see how that looks. I can deal with that. Um, 60,000 men in total. And we've still got 76,000, including our levies, of course. Let's do it. Declare war. Independence. He's not a tributary. No, no, no. Press all claims. He's not a tributary. He's not anything. Now what we want to do is probably hire troops to come in behind the army that we're going to take down to the capital. So let's merge these guys. This is the... Which, which is our retinue? This one here, yeah? Uh, it is, definitely. We'll get on the center of this one. So let's go Choji, Franka, and Tadatake. Start moving down towards the capital. These guys are going to move in and reinforce the line. I don't think they're going to move. And if any of their troops move up to try and obviously cross our line, we can just reinforce with the army adjacent. So they'd have to try and hit it on three different points here. Okay, let's move south. If we get any troops along the way, that would be fantastic. Actually, let's try and... Uh, might have to readjust a little bit slightly here to cut off some of their forces. Because they've already got 15,000 men there. I want to try and avoid shit like that. Okay. Great start. 5% war score. They're moving in with 15,000. I think we've probably got it. I want to reinforce this with these. Move down, move down. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Nothing to worry about. Those 14,000 can do with the reinforcements more desperately. So let's swing you guys down there. I think we might lose it. Ken of Yamashiro is a bit fucking pointless now, my friend. We got it. Reinforce, reinforce, reinforce. Go, go, go. Uh, you head south. And now let's put some decent commanders on this one too. Let's go with Agu. Uh, no, Tadataka I think was on my other trips. Doesn't matter too much because obviously that those armies have our guy on the center. So that's fine. Okay. Uh, let's move you back up there. And let's keep their troops suppressed now. This is all their troops. They've, they've done half the battle for me. Let's move you south and let's move you to there. Okay. Um, what? My troops are performing with excellence and my chest is swelling with pride as we keep pressing forward. I turn back to answer the call of the soldier nearby, but suddenly there's a sharp pain in my eye. Grit in my teeth. I hear an enemy shouting, stay down, you blathering filthy. You blathering filthy. What a blathering filthy. What a fucking insult. Hey, leave my eye alone. I'll accept any injury, even if it protects Panjigo. Punches us in the eye. Uh, or I'll stay down. Hey, leave my eye alone, you blathering filthy. I need to use that one on the comment section more. Now, I think this will catch the remainder of their troops with our... We well, yeah, with our main forces. There we are. I'm really hoping they unify. Uh, well, well, I guess we'll see in a second, won't we? Yeah, that's what we want. We want one big unit that we can keep ping-ponging around and doing a significant amount of damage to. I think we'll bring these guys down to start sieging then. So let's go ahead and put the map of Japan back. Let's move you over there and you over to there. And then these guys are going to hopefully be the ones doing a lot of damage. Hey, there's another one. Nice. Nice work. A, a daimyo, apparently. Right. want to make sure their troops are... I mean, 11,000 is still enough to take our capital. So we've got to be probably a little bit overzealous. Maybe I'm going to be a little bit more cautious than I would be normally. Because like I said before, trying to siege back an island after the enemy has taken it is very, very, very tough. Especially when we've only got straight crossing. Why are we down to zero war score? What's happened? We've still defeated their troops. How strange. <laughs> How odd. Okay. Um, it's a new ruler, uh, but apparently all those troops we killed before, oh, it was someone else's, so it doesn't matter. Oh, it was someone else's troops. So obviously, that doesn't count, despite the fact it was quite clearly just the Imperial fucking army. Anyway, let's head up here. Uh, see if we can kill off the... Ooh, 18,000 is quite a lot. It's going to be a bit riskier. Um, what, who are you? Korean Revolt wants to marry my daughter. Get out of here. What a, what a revolting suggestion. All right. We got him. They somehow escaped into the fog of war. God, it's so difficult to tell where the hell we're fucking going here. Look at this place. It's just such a such a, a dense mess of provinces. Uh, ah, another Blade Master. Fantastic news. There we are. There we are. There we are. Okay, they are going to Yamashiro. We're going to Yamashiro then, I guess. Fucking my god. I have no idea if we're doing a good job or not. Because it's so difficult to tell. I mean, obviously, Battle Wars go aside. I mean, what the hell am I looking at here? It's just so fucking dense. All right. These guys are doing pretty good. Uh, we'll leave them in the current positions. I think that's okay. Rikuzen is apparently... 
Oh, they had a single castle there. Right, got it, got it, got it. You're driving Suguru. Oh, damn it. I genuinely thought the game was about to kill us dead by an event then. Uh, Blade Master's gone. Not a big deal. We got, bi we got bigger fish to fry than a random Blade Master in the middle of nowhere. Right, how am I supposed to follow their troops? I don't know. Where are they going? They are going to Setsu. Where is Setsu? Setsu, 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 Mino. Uh, I can't see where the fuck they're supposed to be going. Yamashiro. Yamato. Uh, I'm just kind of trying to aim in their direction. Your guess is good as mine, to be honest. Ah, there they are. They've reared their head again. That ah, nice. Got him, got him, got him. She's leading troops personally. Holy shit, get her. Come on, get out of here, dog. Get her. Come on. Come on. No, nothing. Shit. That's all right. It's plenty about a war score. Unless, of course, she dies and then a new ruler takes over. We have to fight the new ruler again. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Get her. Nothing again. 67% is pretty good. We still need to lock down this capital. Who else is that trying to take the capital, though? Did that, was that not siege them for a second or was I losing my mind? I'm just losing my mind looking at all these just pure geometry right now. Get out of here. Now you start fabricating clubs so we don't need it. You can fuck right off. So 100%, but we haven't sieged that. Oh, we've sieged just like three provinces. What? 28% occupation. Yeah. From three provinces. Wow. Done. Enforced demands. The Pachigo War for the Kingdom of Japan and the Ken of Echidon has ended. Daimyo Panchi Choji of Panchigo. Call me O Choji Panchi. The Frank of Japan. King. King of Japan. Because we're Japanese feudal. Phenomenal. I'm sure there's probably a, a, a different word for it. Um, I, I mean, O, oh, I guess. Wow. Uh, holy shit. So, have we got any other government types? So, we've, we've got, obviously, Confucian bureaucracy, but that's it. We can't become... What, what was the other guy? You had Japanese Imperial, right? And that's the leader of the religion. I'm going to grant you a landed title, and I'm going to see if... Let's, let's give him something. City of Koshi in Niigata. Yeah, all yours, my man. There we are. Let's try and give Shinto religion a bit more of a presence on Japan. Wait, he's got the Imperial Treasury. I suppose he would, but he's the head of the religion. Is the Japanese Emperor then traditionally also the head of the religion? I have no idea. Um, but this stuff is basically uh, apparently these mythical artifacts that are bought out when a new uh, Japanese Emperor is crowned. Interesting. Man, those would be cool, wouldn't they? You have to be Japonic and you have to have the Shinto religion. Look what it does, though. They're so powerful. Choji Panchi, the Frank, fulfilled the ambition to become the king of Japan. I, I've never been more proud. It took many episodes, and then we just ended up fabricating a claim anyway. But we've done it. And the capital of Japan is now this island. Excellent. We've got to get rid of the false emperor, the false shogun at some stage. Um, I assume we've got, like, du jour claims. Okay, that's good to see. What, what about this island up here? Uh, oh, because it's the Kingdom of Ezo, right? So we can't do much about that. He's got the short claims on us, but not vice versa. Okay. So I guess our next goal then is to depose the false shogun and try and rebuild the Empire of Japan under our dynasty. So you got the Kingdom of Japan and Ezo. So it's just a case of taking that top island. Does Riku really not count? What does that count as? Empire of the Pacific Rim. Oh, weird. For today, then. We will leave it there. That's a, that's a perfect time to... Uh, end today's episode thank you all for watching i hope you guys have enjoyed this one it's been uh it's been a fantastic day for the dynasty it's been a fantastic day for our guy Just did all that weird setup with obviously the the succession and uh and the new air but it's a bit pointless in hindsight huh thank you to the insane top tier level patrons making the series possible in the first place a big shout out to facundo vasquez justin wallace ben hofflin sarabi pelvis presley skaz tyler kendall layla anthony gawley baking kitten and everyone else at the insane tier levels on patreon Big thank you to you guys for making the channel possible in the first place. And of course, a thank you as well goes out to Ton Oster, Hated, Will Wade, Monty, Alex Bogard, Spirit085, Smirtworm, Cody Cope, Jason Sushu, Flom, Emerald Bean, Betamus Max, Proximity Jones, Demon, and all the other patrons as well for making the channel possible in the first place. Big shout out to you all. And I'll see you all tomorrow for Empire. What do you think? I would really think about going from like crappy count to, I suppose you went to Duke, then to King and to Emperor. You know, that doesn't sound nearly as impressive now that I say it out loud.